Hello guys, so, um, this is probably gonna be the end of this, you know, series, and also, um, it's probably gonna be rushed because, you know, um, well, I almost lost all of the ideas until, like, the last moment, where I finally got some inspiration, so yeah, so this is probably gonna be a short episode and a really short finale, so, either way, hello guys, I am back from another video, and today we're talking about, what if, you know, Bell had the ability to summon heroic spirits. So, in the last video we talked about how, so, pretty simple, after, you know, the Alliance finally arrived at the City of Lust, aka, you know, Ishtar's Domain, as after arriving there, they would start, you know, causing some chaos to basically free Bell, as Bell was basically escorted to basically go somewhere else for, you know, well, Ishtar's ambitions to say the least. So, while he was basically Where he was sent off to go somewhere else. As for the other hero experiments, they would start, you know, taking over the place, basically trying to destroy it, using bombs that are basically made out of napalm and some other stuff. While for the hero experiments, they would start using their normal phantasms, like for an example, for Jessica's Demoloi, she would start using her normal phantasm, aka, well, you know, the Vendre, Vendri, Vendre, I'm still not really good with that type of like wording. I I promise you. I probably like butchered that probably. Actually, that's not even a probably. And for another example, Beltralis with her noble phantasm, Sir's Boggy Map, you know, Sir's Boggy, you know, Meltdown. Which apparently that's the actual pronunciation. Apparently, the, you know, Sir's Wadi part is apparently a, you know, a, you know, um, what do you call it? A typo. So yeah, I was right with the Saraswati Meltdown. And I keep calling it Meltdown, which sounds a bit better in my opinion. So I'm just gonna be keeping that, but either way. And we also saw the double phantasm of our lovely little Burgess, which is Black Dog Galatine, which my favorite double phantasm animation of all time currently. So, after, you know, well, after, you know, the arrival of, you know, of Vespian, she would free, you know, Bell as, while they're about to escape, well, Aisha would basically come in and would start fighting, as Izuki, not Izuki, and Bell, and, you know, well, her would start fighting with, you know, fighting together as they would finally defeat Aisha, and while they're basically escaping, they would notice in the background the explosion of light, as it would signify the death of Ishtar. After that, they would finally arrive back at, you know, at the meeting place as Izuki, Bell would start to feel a little bit tired, and so would instantly fall to sleep, or knocked out. So yeah, so that's where we basically ended off the episode. And so, let us talk about what happens next, ladies and gents. So, we currently see Izuku on bed, as he would start to awaken from sleep as you would see this. Finally, go back to the, like the common area, as you would see several visceral spirits, and also, you know, Hestia, as everybody would see this. Bell, everybody would say, as everybody would start, you know, coming towards them, as they would hug him, as one of them would say this, specifically Melisai. Yeah, hey, brother, you're okay, she would say, as you would see this. Yeah, well, sort of, he would say. As after saying that, one of them would say this. Oh yeah, your pelvis, said, you know, Gilgamesh, as he would start laughing a little bit. As he would say this. Yeah, yeah, Gil, he would say. As one of them would say this. But still, thankfully you're okay, said, you know, Emiya. As Burgess would say this. Maybe we should celebrate for that, he would say, she would say. As he would say this. Hmm. Yeah, maybe, he would say. As one of them would say this. Hmm, maybe we should prepare a feast. Hmm, how would you want... How would we get some, you know, ingredients first for that, he would say. Specifically, Emiya, as Melissa would say this. Ooh, I can help, she would say, as Europa would also join in. So, 
ingredients. After two weeks, so they would start leaving, you know, the house to basically get the ingredients for their little, like, salvation. As Izuku would say this, not Izuku, I meant Bell, Bell would just say this. <laughs> well, they certainly are quite interesting, you would say. As after saying that, one of them would say this. <laughs> yes, Master, he would say. As after saying that, Bell would say this. <laughs> Very well, Gil, he would say. And Gil, how's it been ever since I was? As he would say this. Well, you were basically, like, you know, knocked out about, you know, a few, um, you know, you've been, you know, in a coma for about, like, a week, he would say. As he would say this. A week, he would say. As he would say this. Yeah. And let's just say your, <laughs> your girlfriend, to say the least, have been taking care of you ever since you got knocked out, he would say. As he would say this. Wait, bet, he would say. As he would say this. Yeah. i never seen her actually being that caring. <laughs> I absolutely love teasing her, he would say. As, you know, Morgan would say this. Yeah. I do agree. As, you know, Cody and Sky would say this. Yep, that was actually kind of funny seeing her face. As after saying that, she would start having that little chuckle of hers. As after saying this, Hessian and Lobo would say this. Master. As he would say this. Oh, was it Lobo? He would say. As he would say this. Well, ever since you got knocked out, we recently got some reports. He would say. As he would say this. What exactly are these reports? He would say. As after saying that, he would say this. Well. As before they can say anything else, they would hear from, you know, Hestia as she would say this. Hey, come on, we don't need to worry about that for now. Um, maybe we we'll first celebrate first, she would say. As after saying that, Dizuki would say, not Dizuki, I meant Bell would say this. Hmm. How about that, he would say. As, you know, he would say this. Fine, guess I'll be telling you later. As after saying that, we would time skip for a few minutes, a few hours later. As we currently see some members of the Loki and some Freya Familia members, you know, basically in the Castilla Familia household, basically preparing for the party, as everybody is basically having a grand old time. As for Belle, Belle is currently being fed on and being doted on by, well, Bet. As Bet would say this, say ah, as she would say that, as Belle would say this to himself. Well, this is certainly awkward, he would say to himself. As after saying that, he would start looking at Bet as Izuku would open his mouth, preparing to get the food. As after eating it, he would say this. Hmm. Kinda good, he would say. As after saying that, one of them would say this. Specifically, you know, what is his name? As after opening his mouth, he would start taking in the food, as he would say this. Well, this is awkward, he would say this to himself. As one of them would say this. Specifically, you know, well, um... What is her name? Yeah, Loki. As Loki is currently talking to, you know, Hestia. As Loki would say this. Well, it seems that some of our children are starting to get along pretty well, she would say. As Hestia would say this. Yeah, but still, she would say. As she would start looking at, you know, looking at her. As she would say this. Hmm? What is it, Shorty? She would say. As she would say this. Dest. I Stop calling me that, she would say. As she would say this. What? It's still a funny nickname for you. Besides. It is sort of true, she would say, as she would say this. Mm, whatever, flat chest, she would say, as she would say this. Excuse me, she would say, as they would start carling, you know, carling a little bit. And as for, you know, you know, um, Bird Geist, Bird Geist is currently, you know, e eating some of the food, basically, you know, well, doing an artoria and basically start consuming. <laughs> Actually, I've been having this great idea for a servant design, where it's basically just Beelzebub. As in the Lord of Gluttony, and it's just Artoria. <laughs> <laughs> I can just, uh, I can just imagine that being in like some sort of like April Fools, <laughs> like you know, uh, or at least like a Halloween type event in like FGO. <laughs> I could just imagine that, or maybe even a summer event. <laughs> oh my God, that actually sounds hilarious. But either way, as we also see. Our lovely little Morgan, you know, doing some other shit. Basically doting on, you know, um, Melisine, because remember, Melisine is sort of like a daughter to her, sort of. I mean, there's still, you know, well, you know, Balbon Sith, but all of you decided to basically not vote for her. As, you know, apparently she is sort of her daughter. Yeah, so, 
um, she has to, you know, at least, you know, dote on, you know, Melisine this time. So, yeah, either way, as we also see currently, Emiya basically, you know, cooking up some more food as everybody is lining up to basically have some. As for, you know, well, um, Hesian and Lobo, apparently Hesian and Lobo decided to basically introduce themselves to the other, you know, people. Which, at first, some of them were just like thinking that he was some sort of like monster, but after a bit of clarification and also a bit of explaining, except for the whole like, you know, heroic spirit part, but either way, they would sort of accept them, but some of them were just like going on, just like questioning how is he still alive and how does he like, you know, eat at least, or even live at this point, because he basically doesn't have a head. Which, at some point, some guy decided to like throw rocks off on the whole of his head and started playing a game, <laughs> which, you know, sort of caused him to basically throw the rock back at him, but for force, basically knocking him out. <laughs> oh god, wait for a second. As we also see Finn basically, you know, talking with Gilgamesh, as Gilgamesh is giving him some tips. Even though he doesn't really like it all that much, you know, even though, um, yeah, actually he's sort of like, you know, he doesn't really like him. Um, because he thinks that he's still above everybody, except for his master. As we also see, you know, Koizkaya talking to some more people. More specifically, some merchant, you know, you know, or... Actually, yeah, I guess you can say they're sort of like merchants. Um, basically like merchants from, you know, from other, you know, um, cities or, you know, countries, I guess you can say. As she's currently talking to them for, you know, a bit of a partnership, let's just say that. And as for some others, like for example, well, just guess, as she's currently talking to some, you know, female-based fighters of, you know, of two of the familiars that I spoke of, aka Loki and also Freya, as we also see, you know, <laughs> uh, Melchorless basically, you know, dealing with a lot of suitors, let's just say that, as, you know, all of them are basically proclaiming their love for her, but let's just say, because she's a bit of a sadist, well, let's just say their asses were basically... <laughs> Oh boy, I'm not even gonna say that! As for a Vespian, a Vespian is doing her own thing, basically talking to some, you know, random people, as they're currently, like, drunken. As for, you know, a Vespian herself, she's currently, you know, also drunken herself, as she's basically partying till the night is basically just, like, gone. So, after a while of, like, partying, and also, you know, a bit of, like, talking, we also see Belle moving towards... I guess you can see to the upstairs of the, you know, SDF familiar household. As while he was there, he would start sighing to himself, saying, <sighs> Sorry about that, then we continue on. As he would start sighing to himself, as you see this, <sighs> This feels nice, he would say. But after saying this, Hessian would basically arrive, as Hessian would say this, Master, he would say. As Bell would say this, hmm? Oh, hey Hessian, he would say. As after saying that, he would say this. Yes. Now, I want to say this to you. We recently got some activities from this black mud creature that we recently discovered back in the dungeon back then, he would say. As he would say this. Really? What exactly happened, he would say. As after saying this, he would say this. Well, we recently got some activities. More specifically, how this black mud sort of became this almost parasitic type creature that seemed to be infecting some of the monsters and started becoming humans and started making the monsters stronger and stronger. As after saying that he would say this, I see. So as he would say this, I know yeah, we recently found out that there's apparently some sort of hive mind related to those black mud. And if we kill the hive mind, we destroy the entire species. As he would say this, I see. So we just need to kill the thing, he would say, as he would see this. Yes, but it will be a perilous journey, but it will be worth it. It's gonna be a few days for you to basically get in there, so be ready, he would say. As after saying that, he would say this. Sure, we're gonna be leaving tomorrow anyway for the dungeon, so... As after saying that, he would say this. Very well, master, he would say. As after saying that, he would disappear into shadow. As you see this, <sighs> better tell the gang, and also Hestia, he would say, as after saying that, we 
go after the party. Basically, everybody's basically going home as they're currently tired, sleepy, full, or, you know, completely, you know, <laughs> let's just say beaten by virtualists. <laughs> oh, God. But either way, as after that, everybody was instantly fall asleep. The next day has come as everybody's basically preparing to go to the dungeon. And Bell is basically, you know, preparing a lot of stuff. As we also see, you know, well, Bet there, as Bet would say this. Hey, Bell, she would say. As he would say this. Uh, yeah, Bet, he would say. As she would say this. Well, I hope you be careful, she would say. I don't want you to be dead or anything. And don't die on me, she would say. As she would have a determined look, as he would say this. <laughs> sure. I promise I won't die, he would say. As after saying that, one of his servants would say this. One of his servants would say this. Specifically Gilgamesh. Master, we are finally finished, he would say. As he would say this. Okay, I'll be going, he would say. As after saying that, he would start looking at Bet. As Bet would say this. Good luck, she would say. As he would say this. <laughs> Don't wish me luck, he would say. I know I'll win. Or at least come back, he would say. As after saying this, he would grab her by the waist and would kiss her. As she was not expecting that. Ever since they first met, she was always the top, but this time, she was the one that's basically, like, on the bottom. Or at least, you know, being the bottom this time. As, instead of being angry, she was, well, enjoying it. As she would lean in even more into the kiss. As after doing so, he would say goodbye to her. As she would also say goodbye to him, as she would have hard eyes, as she would say this. Hmm. I hope you're okay, Izuku. Not Izuku, I meant Belle. So, yeah. So, this is sort of like the end of this, you know, series. Um, more specifically, you know, well, sort of the end, I guess you can say, but either way, we're gonna be going to the, you know, well, the, well, the, um, prologue. Or at least I think... Yeah, the epilogue I meant. And we're gonna be going to it right now, ladies and gents. So, we're gonna be going to the epilogue. As we currently see, you know, Bell finally leaves the dungeon after two years. As currently, some of the servants are, you know, well, pretty much okay, but for him, he changed a lot. He was much more muscular, as he would also gain an iron hand. Let's just say the battle between him and also the large hive mind, which apparently the thing's name was Jared McVeedow, Goetia. <laughs> so yeah, apparently Goetia in the Fate Grand Order universe decided to basically like, you know, jump ship and decided to go to this universe, where he's been feeding on some of the people there and gaining more power and power. And by this, he wants to get his revenge on these guys for tomorrow, but unfortunately because of Bell, being there, well, let's just say he was gone bye-bye. And so, after he returned, several people cheered on his name. And even after learning about how he saved, you know, them from almost being killed by this massive, you know, this massive threat to the world, even more massive than probably even the, you know, the Black Dragon, was, you know, quite refreshing and also quite, you know, interesting. And after, you know, a bit of talking and also reuniting with, you know, Heskia and finally Bet, they would live sort of happily ever after. As currently we also see Belle with, you know, Bet as they're currently having their wedding. As the man say this, or, you know, the priest. Now, as for you, Belle, Colonel, do you wish or do you vow to be her lovely and quite aspiring husband to be forever entwined with each other, to, to be there in sickness and in health, even when old age is strong. You will never, I mean ever, be, well, for a second, uh, never, and I mean ever, be divided. As Balotinus, I do, as after saying this, Bet would also say the same. And both of them would have a lovely kiss as both of their familiar, you know, leaders, aka, you know, well, Hestia and also Loki would basically cheer them on. As Loki is cheering on her, you know, 
calls her flat-chested, her flat-chested, you know, ally. And she's currently happy for her to finally have a husband. And as for her, she's currently planning on maybe, like, you know, getting some, you know, and she's currently <laughs> looking at Evia. So, yeah, so, a few years have gone by, as we currently see Belle with two children, two of them being, you know, twins, one of them being a boy and the other one being a girl. One of them seems to have a knack for, you know, mage crap, while the other has the ability to some hero experience, just like your father, aka Belle, as Beth is currently betrayed by, you know, by some of his hero experience, as she's much stronger. And so, after doing this, the alliance between the, you know, Hestia and also the, you know, well, the, you know, Loki familiar has strengthened even more. And not only that, they decide to unite and becoming a much more stronger familia. Which is uncreatively, you know, named the Hestia and Loki familia. <laughs> yeah, great name, idiot. <laughs> but either way, as the years gone by, you know, both of his, you know, you know, both of his, you know, children basically grown up as they're currently, you know, going through life, basically marrying and also, you know, in, you know, being great heroes. And even after their death, specifically, you know, the death of, you know, Belle and also Bet, they would still be remembered as the strongest of the strong, and even admired as great heroes, even greater than their, you know, than Belle's parents back in the day, which apparently which was revealed to be, you know, that apparently his parents were a part of the Lo not Loki, I meant the, um, the Hera, I think, yeah, the Hera and also Zeus familia. And doing so, well, let's just say, you know, they were sort of like admired to be great, even more greater heroes than they imagined. And let's just say, we're gonna be moving to a new perspective. Yeah, we're going to a new perspective again. So yeah, so, we go to a different perspective, in this case, a man with whitish hair and also, you know, black bangs, basically from his hair, you know, from his sides, as you would say this. So, this is my ancestor. As the man, which, after, you know, panning out, would seem to be just be a girl with just shortish hair, as you would say this. So these are my three As she would wield the same, you know, sword as Bell, aka, you know, the Bell will copy, but except she only has one. As she would see this. Now, let's get going. Richard, she would say, as after saying that, a man would be revealed. Having, you know, you know, pale blonde hair with a, I think, a reddish, um, let me just choose. As it would be revealed to be a man with, you know, with. Kind of like a uh, bakugo colored, you know, colored hair, with red, you know, accents in them. As you would also have a braided, you know, piece of hair on his, on his side, as you would also have white, pure white armor, with golden accents, as you would also have a red cape with several, like, you know, well, I guess you can say designs, as you would say this. Very well, Master, he would say, as you would say this. You don't have to be so formal, Master say, as you would say this. Well, I am a loyal knight, after all, he would say. As you would say this. <laughs> yeah. Now, let's get going, she would say. As you would say this. Yes, master. As she would say this to herself. <laughs> I wonder what the Alcid is doing later, she would say. As after saying this, we're gonna be ending this series right off here. So, I'm really sorry that I decided to make this the ending of this series, but unfortunately, at the time, um, 
when I was first making this what if, I was really excited, but um, but for some odd reason, I started like you know, you know, feeling a little bit you know disappointed in myself for making this what if. Like seriously, I, I felt like you know absolutely ashamed of like making this what if, mostly because like you know the whole well. After a bit of time, I, you know, started, like, hating this what if, but at the start, I actually liked this what if. So, yeah, let's just say, um, this what if was one of my least favorites now. But, if some of you guys like it, then, you know, I'll be making a play, you know, a playlist soon, so don't worry, guys. I won't be just, like, you know, um, I'm not gonna be doing, like, the whole, like, thing where I just, like, you know, decide, nah, I'm just gonna not make a playlist for this, but I will do it. I will promise to do that. So yeah, so, I hope you liked the video, comment and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye!